Dusty, pull your pants up. I can see your ass. Oh, wait a minute. This asshole is at least 65% lighter than your asshole. The victim had his asshole bleached. Hmm. Yeah, and that looks real professional, too. Probably went down a bonsai butthole bleaching. Open noon to 4 p.m. every day of the year but Christmas. I probably shouldn't ask, but how do you know that, Dusty? Because I get my cat's butthole bleached every Tuesday. See, she was walking around one day and flipped her tail up at me, and that thing just looked like evil. It was dark, like the brown eye Sauron or something. I tried to bleach it at home myself to be thrifty, and I used Clorox, but I ended up melting my cat's butthole shut. Tricks on me, because that cat butthole reconstructive surgery cost me way more than I saved. Plus, I had to teach her how to shit again by holding her over the litter box and squeezing her little belly like a go-gurt till her butthole opened back up. But it kept healing shut, so I had to take both thumbs and a pair of chopsticks and pry it open. That's how I got all these scratch marks on my face. Yes, I get it, Dusty, I get it! Communion After Dark
nur für dich in meinem Herzen geschrieben steht. Ganz leise nur ein Hauch von dir, voll tiefer Sehnsucht, die nie vergeht. Doch du gingst fort und ließ mich stehen. Nun wird es Zeit, dir nachzugehen.
Yeah.
Communion After Dark, welcome back. It is another week and we are still at home. What week are we in? May like 18th, seven? I believe. Oh, sorry. So May, this is the week of May 18th? May 18th, yes, the week of May 18th. All right, awesome, and we got um, that was my guest set. here. And yes, we have a special guest. I'm happy to be here. This is awesome. Dr. Rand. The famous uh, Scott Duran from Dark Indulgence. Yes. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy to be here. You know, I kick off uh, every every Monday afternoon at work. I uh, I listen every week. So thank I'm, you, Scott. Uh, big Glad fan to for finally a long have time. you on the show. Oh yeah, it's it's it, like lovely to be here. I'm I'm excited to do it. I was really really That's happy. Awesome. You know, I think uh, especially Mark and I had we we had like phenomenal feedback. People loved the. Uh, the show we did recently. I think it's so cool. Collaborations are amazing because, um, you know, so many music scenes are splintered out with people that uh, with controversy and people that don't get along. So I think it's amazing how uh, within our scene that so many of us work together and uh, I agree. pull our efforts together. And we just, because uh, it, it's, it's really what we're supposed to be all about. We're all about music and sharing music. And uh, when we, we synergize together, uh, all, the, all these artists get heard more. That's our goal. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Mouse, we'll go ahead and read your uh, set. I'm sorry. Sure thing. All right. Uh, last song you just heard was Gulf Boulevard. Uh, they are a local band, or they're a band that just moved here um, to Tampa. That was the song Dereliction. It is a brand new track, um, just a single that you can get on Bandcamp. He said that uh, he wants to release singles and uh, this is another really strong track that I love. Uh, before that was uh, Trevor Something, who is constantly putting out music with the song Enter the Demon that you can get on um, his latest release, Deep Wave Data Dark Web Demons. <laughs> and uh, that's all right. also on, on Bandcamp. All right, go, go ahead, uh, Gold, I guess, if you want to read the next one. All right, before that, Mouse played a band called Kindest Cuts. And the song was called "All You Need Is Money." That's true. well, sometimes. And that's featuring New Haunts, and that's from the "All You Need Is Money." Was that was that the was that from BW Publishing? I can't. I don't know what BW even means, but um, it's the "All You Need Is Money" is on one side, and oh, oh it's a split single. Oh, yeah, it sounds side. like a, yeah, it sounds like a split single then. Yes, it's okay. a split single, but okay. it has that BW yeah. in it, and I don't know what that means. Back, um, back, back I with maybe? Huh? Back, right. back with like B A C K E D. Back with maybe? Yeah. I don't know. 
I've seen it before on and when there's just one song on one side and one on the other side. I've seen that before and I don't know what that means. Sorry, well, it's kind of like from the old days when they used to just have seven inch records with a song on each like side that. and that was it. Yeah, that's cool. That's right. like that song uh, by Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. No, Never he mind. did that on that. He did that on one side. <laughs> I'm just that was man. that was say say say. No, they did that song black and white. Black? Wasn't that Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson? No, they did that song. Say, say, say. What? Black right, and uh, white? Move on. Let's, let's oh my move god. On. No, black and white. Michael Jackson no, black. did black and white by himself. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, say, 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 matter say, if say, he's black or white. Yeah, and then, and then he did Say, oh. Say, Say with, with Paul McCartney. On one of them. Sorry. Oh, Paul McCartney's out. I, I got him, Paul, and whatever. All right, go ahead, Mouse. You got your Michael Jackson songs wrong? I'm sorry. I'm not that big of a fan, I guess. Actually, I'll happily take the next one. His right. interface. Oh, I think it's so cool that um, that this new interface album and the, the track Fairy Tale. But you know that album. It's so it's so neat because one of the one of the, you know one of the guys in the project is a, is a fireman. So they're they're raising money for uh, you know first line workers, and it's, so that's really really cool that that album's dedicated to that. They're they're, they're pushing oh. the funds. Uh, awesome! Go awesome. buy the awesome. album, people. So yeah, really, really cool that they they did that, and uh, they're, they're raising money and really trying to kind of help help out those uh, frontline workers in New York. That so, is uh, cool. That so, song yeah, that, "Fairy Tale" is on the album called "Dystopia" that you can get on Distortion Productions. All right, that's awesome. All right, is that a new interface or is that the one they released like about a month ago or a month and a half back? Or yeah, I think it came out in April. April. Okay. Cool. All right, prior to that, Mouse played brand new Augur. Um, they have a new album out. We played a few singles um, from them previously, and this song is Insurgents that you heard, and it is off the Insurgents album, which is on Dark Tunes Music Group. So that's pretty cool. Augur is a good band. I really enjoy their stuff, so I'm glad that they have a full album out again. They're really spectacular, really, really good. And um, and they're going to be on the on the festival with us. That, um, I'm, I'm so happy I'm on that with y'all, you guys. Yeah, cool. we didn't talk about that yet. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we'll talk about that, point. that in a little bit. Yes, good idea. Uh, and then uh, before that, I played Hemata Erda with the song Nudu Undish on the Eigengrab album on Fully Packed Records. And that was my best attempt at this fully German album with German song titles. Remember to go to our website at communionafterdark.com and look at our playlists. Or yeah. if you're watching on Mixcloud that, or YouTube, look at our German, playlists. Is that German for a new phone? Who's this? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> huh. And then I started out with the big one, She Hates Emotions. Uh, that is a side project of Chris Pohl. Um, that was the song City Lights that you can get on the album Melancholic Maniac. It just came out on Out of Line Records. And we've already played the two singles that they've already released. And this is another song that is on the album. It's a good album. Oh, I love it. Oh, I was even, on the even, I was on the Out of Line side. Say, and that, that's, that's a lot because she, she's not a Chris Pohl fan and she actually enjoyed the album. If you go to the album website, you, you, you I, can get it. Oh, go ahead. I wasn't a Blue Tangle fan until they put out Monument. Now I'm a Blue Tangle fan because I get it. But I had their Selling Crunk, and I had all the Tumor albums, and uh, he had something else. He had some other project. <clears throat> well, this, this album says nod to the 80s and to new wave music, which I okay. uh, like the uh, little influences he threw in there. All right, Gold, what were you going to say? Do you want to say something before we do our shot? I was on the uh, out of line site and they're they're offering uh, Chris Pohl uh, uh, COVID masks. <gasps> oh, Mark, okay, cool. You I gotta get, get my shot. Is it shot time? Oh, okay. I gotta get my Devo one, Gold. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do our shot of the week now, and uh, we all have I think different shots here, which we can talk about after we do them. So, and and my wife is here as well. So here you go. Cheers. Oh, oh cheers. 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 Oh. Uh, drink. Get drink. A boa. That was good. Whoa. I had um, I had a well, banana and well peanut butter. I had an Elvis shot. So did my wife here, by the way. 
but that was screwball banana liqueur or screwball peanut butter whiskey and then banana liqueur really good and then what did you have mouse i don't uh, want to know but the um asking no screwball whiskey peanut butter flavored whiskey um peach schnapps and grape raspberry soda oh it, i that doesn't yeah, doesn't sound but hey you good. Told it was me good Hmm? Was it good? No, was it good? It was, I'm asking. It was very no. sweet. You told me that the peanut butter whiskey would take... Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to do our shot of the week now. And uh, we all have, I think, different shots here, which we can talk about after we do them. So, and, and my wife is here as well. So here you go. Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 <sighs> a boa. That was good. Whoa. I had um, I had a well, banana and well, peanut butter. I had an Elvis shot. So did my wife here, by the way. But that was screwball banana liqueur, or screwball peanut butter whiskey, and then banana liqueur. Really good. And then what did you have, Mouse? I don't uh, want to know, but the um, asking. No screwball whiskey, peanut butter flavored whiskey, um, peach schnapps and grape raspberry soda. Oh, I, that doesn't yeah, doesn't sound, but hey, good. It, was me, it good? Hmm? Was it good? No, was it good? It I'm was, asking. It was no. very sweet. You told me that the peanut butter whiskey would taste good with fruity things. I don't think that's true. No, it tastes good with banana liqueur or Chambord. Either one. Or chocolate something. Scott, I know you had absinthe, right? Yeah, I had uh, lucid absinthe. Uh, one ounce with some uh, fresh mint ground up in it, along with some uh, fresh orange and just a little tiny bit of uh, lime juice in it. Really, cool. Really cool. What did you have, Tom? Uh, raspberry white claw with vodka. Nice. Nice. Well, I can hear your fart toy. That's what's going to happen later. <laughs> So, um, should we mention the Dark Tunes thing? Yes, of course. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Dark Tunes Music Group is having a festival, and uh, it's going to be happening on June sixth. Um, the start times differ depending on where you are, but it's going to be, I think, like noon o'clock over in Eastern time in the U.S. Um, I'm going to be hosting. Uh, and then uh, we have tons of DJs who are going to be part of it. So um, Mark Paradise and uh, and Scott, you're going to be part of it. Um, there's Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah, there's DJs from all over the world. There's going to be 14 bands showcased, um, and it's going to be um, some performances and interviews for each of the bands. Synth Attack. Awesome. One word. Should be awesome. Synth Attack. I'm so happy. It's I love on. Synth Attack. <laughs> yeah. June 6th, right? Yep, June 6th. Awesome. Dark Tunes. Make sure you check that out. E-Festival. That's going to be a really good time. Yeah, yeah instead, it's instead, of going, instead of going to Germany, we're going to just like bring it right in your house. <laughs> there yes, you go. Exactly. I like that. <clears throat> I like it. And um, I guess I'm going to be next. But before we go to our second um, set, I did want to thank Scott again for joining us. And I also want to announce that we have an extra podcast that went up, uh, what, two, yesterday or two days back? Um, Thursday and you. Friday. And, yeah, and that was for our Decade Show, which was a suggestion from Mina Holiday, a listener of ours. So if you want to listen to a mix and just, it's just a mix, no talking. Go listen to it. Don't miss that, please. It's really good. It's a good mix. And it's just something to listen to and uh, drive around or dance in your house or whatever you want to do. But it's a perfect mix to turn on while you're, going to the bathroom, cleaning your house, eating some dinner or whatever. Jim. Yeah, I left, a, I, I left a comment on it that, you know, it's just, it's such a cool spectrum of the music from the decade. You know, it covers, it, is. it covers so many different things. It was just really enjoyable set. It's, it, and and if, I know you don't live in this area, but if you went to the castle in this area, those are a large amount of the tracks that were played at the castle over the last, I mean, not all of them, obviously, yes. but a large amount that were played at the castle very frequently over the last decade anyways. Um, 
And then um, I do have to announce as well before we go uh, that um, I want to thank uh, last week. We had a really good show with DJ Andreas from Cold Transmission. You can also hear a mix on his show, which is Cold Transmission as well. Um, it's on Mixcloud. It's under Cold Transmission or DJ Andreas Cold Transmission. I'm not sure which one it's under, but uh, there's a mix on there. It's our second show called Cold Communion. So check that out. It's uh, it's done really well so far. Oh, and I tell you what, I was so glad y'all got excited about the secret project because, wow, man, I kept trying to hit, like, you know, Mixcloud will let you back up, and I was hoping I could back it up. That song is so good. The I know, secret, it that, was. I mean, yes. that was like, I can't wait for that to come out. That, it was awesome. I love I that agree. song. Gold, did you even listen to it? The, which the, one? Which show? The secret song that was on Andreas' set. No, Last I didn't. Week. No, no. Oh. Okay, go. That's your homework. Listen to it. Okay. It's a good song, man. Oh, it was the man. last song. What the last song? Last song in his set. Yeah, you need yeah. to go back and listen to it. You need to start listening. It's okay. good. No, it's good, Tom. You'll like it. You'll like it. Okay. It's it's rare that I'm like anxiously anticipating a song, but that I will be have my eye peeled because I can't wait to get that. It's, it's so it is. Good. It was really good. Yeah. So so is this yeah. it's a secret song, but it's not on the playlist. Well, it's it's on. No, the no, no! It's on the it's playlist. Like a it has, it's, it has, it's not out yet. Yeah, he hasn't oh. talked about it. All. It's just an yeah. exclusive song for the show. Yeah, just like some unnamed project, but uh, yeah, it, it's hard to explain the song. It's like dark electro with like some synth pop kind of elements, like dark synth pop. But uh, wow, I don't know. It's just it's so good. It, it's it's. It, and if it's you look on our YouTube, you can go back and you could listen to uh, it. On good point. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's a really good song, and I agree. And he. Uh, he, he did a really good job. Andres is a great guy, and Cold Transmission is a really good label, so check that out. But all right, I'm next, um, and I will be starting off with uh, something fun. I don't have it in front of me, so I'll tell you in a minute. See you soon. Bye. This is Kid After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Paradise.
they did. And uh, uh, as, as bad as this is, uh, it, it could have been.
me after dark with uh feather boa gold and dj scott durand and dj mouse he's john snow and um huh he's john and snow. his fart machine yeah, yeah and john his fart snow. machine john snow all right uh you just heard um in danger with the song it's over featuring kiara m e and that is off their brand new album polished but you can get on, in fact, the recordings. That is one of the new tracks that is on that album. Um, and it was my pick of the month for uh, April, the month we were just in. So yes, I love that track. Very pretty, just on there, singing goodbye to their lovers. All right, and then prior to that, I played Instant Lake. I wish I had an Instant Lake at my house here so I could go swimming. Um, and that was their song, Death to Slavery. Great track. And that is on their album Disto Dream or Disto Dream. And that is on Wave Records. Really good punk, post punk, uh, goth album really there. It's more post punk, but it's a really good album if you like that sound. Love Instant Lake. Isn't, isn't, that, what, isn't that what Long Duck Dong said in 16 Candles? Instant Lake. What? <laughs> instant, I don't know, lake. did he? I have no idea. Remember when he was wrecking the car? He was like, like Instant Lake. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Before ahead, that, Gold played, I mean, Paradise, sorry. Before that, Paradise played New My Love Kills with the song The New Babylon, and that's on their album Imitatio Day on Scent Air Records. That is a really yeah. cool album. I agree. I'm absolutely I agree. loving it. Yeah, he just, released, great. He, he just released some new music this week, and I'll tell you what, he's been consistent. He is putting out really good music. He is yeah. probably he's like one of the underrated artists right oh. now. Yeah, he hasn't blown up yet. <laughs> cool. What are you doing, man? We're talking. No, no, I, 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 is, 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 is Hunter doing some crazy dance or something? It's no, no, no. The, the fart machine got confiscated. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good job. Yeah, that's a good, Megan, but that my thank love you. kills is really good. Yeah, really good. That's uh, Friedrich um, from Erotic Elk again, and then. Um, BVA from um, Ad Inferno. Great, great combination. All right, whoever wants to read the next one, go ahead. Scott, why don't you read that one? Okay, Um, so that was Marcus Midnight, uh, Rhythm of Our Work from the Rhythm of Our Work single, and that's on uh, Wave Records. I love that label. Marcus Midnight. I have to agree with you too. Uh, That Wave Records is a great label, great label. Um, it's one of my favorites right now. They put out a large amount of good stuff on that label. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 pretty consistent putting out, and they really have a good sound. Yeah. Go ahead, Gold. All right. Well, we got some brand new Dawn of Ashes with a song called "Scum of the Earth" from the Antimonian. Antimonium. Antinomian. <laughs> yeah. On Artifact Records. Yeah, so, hey, it's cool they're on Artifact now. Yeah. Is that a new song then? Because they were re-releasing some stuff for a while. Uh, yeah, the album's not officially released yet, but thank you to uh, Mr. DJ Banks, Mr. Christian Banks from PR from Fade and PR. He sent that over. Oh, the full cool. album. Okay. And I appreciate it, truthfully. He's a really good guy, and he's works with a large amount of artists now. So if you want some good PR, he's the guy to go to. Um... All right, so prior to that, I played Unicode Machine with their song Paper Empires. And that was the uncreated uh, remix of that track, which is on the Paper Empires um, EP that came out on Skycode. Uh, Gold did play a track by off of that as well previously, which I believe he played the Technology mix of that. 
Um, it's a great EP. It's only yeah. one song, but that song is awesome. All the mixes are good on it. Really good song. And then I started off with um, Schwarz Child or Schwaz Child. Schwarz Child. <laughs> Schwarz Shield. Uh, no, I don't know. I think it's Schwarz Child. Um, and that was her song Fry off the Fry single, which you can get on Bandcamp currently. That's a really cool single that they just released. And um, it's very future popish sounding. Got a lot of dance beats going on in there. Makes you want to move. Cool little single there. And it's got a remix too. So there's two tracks. You can buy it on Bandcamp. Go uh, support the band. Great right. set, Mark. Thank you. I appreciate that comment. That made Especially me for you, to... Mouse. That's nice. Made me want to dance and jump in an instant <clears throat> lake. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. We're going to do our uh, donations now for the week. Try and do these. And um, not pass anybody over because we really appreciate all the help you give to the show. Thank you to everybody. Uh, we have um, Jens R. Munson, who's a monthly donor to the show. He's uh, James Trimarco, another monthly donor to the show. Brandon Stadler, a uh, monthly donor. We got a regular donation, a one-time donation this week, which is really cool from uh, Brian Herring, who lives in um, uh, Florida. Um, Rebecca Van Herk is a new monthly donor to the show. She started this week. She actually had donated previously, and now she's come back again. So thank you, Rebecca, for supporting us. Thank you, Rebecca. She's from Australia. Way down there in Australia. Oh, you know Rebecca Scott, right? Rebecca oh, Van sure. Herk from oh, Australia? Yeah. Absolutely. yeah, okay, cool. I yeah, I'm sorry. We I, was, the only... I, was, I was typing in an album uh, title. Oh, that's all right. No, I, I thought you knew her, so I just wanted to bring her up. But anyways, um, and then we got a monthly donation from Renee Pasco, uh, from Dennis and Kane, who is, a, who is also a guest DJ on this show previously. Uh, Mark Steele, uh, Yorit Van Driesch, uh, Mr. Nobody, <laughs> Ruben Carter, Edgar Martinez. Those are all monthly donators to the show. Um, some more monthly donators to the show. We have a brand new one name is terrific trades i like that i don't think that's really their name but that's probably the company but terrific trades with the exclamation point after it um new monthly donor to the show jan rolf zimmerman um dj vegan and black yeah yes and uh, david scott uh chris cantlin gregory watkins Cowell, who's also a scientist I believe we called him the Dark Lord of Serpents, if I'm not mistaken, previously. Yes. Nice guy. Very cool dude. Uh, Neil McCombie, Lauren Tarnoski, and Bo Brian, all monthly donators to the show. Thank you to everybody who donates to the show. And thank you to the new ones. That's really cool. And then we got a few donations this week I wanted to read. Um, one of them is from Lori Gardner, who said, You have been one of the guiding lights in the darkness. I, I like that. Thank you for keep. She said, "Thank you for keep making these uh, awesome shows. All the best from the Netherlands." And that's nice from the Netherlands. I yeah. know where that is, and I like it. We I have no idea where the Netherlands is. How it's up there? Where? Up there. By Alaska? No, the other direction. Oh, the other direction. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I love the Netherlands. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but I do. Uh, Let's go. And then we got, <laughs> yeah, cool. And we got a month. We got a donation from our buddy Mark Massive. Mark, wow, that's oh, really cool. Thank you. Sorry, yeah. And Mark said, "Keep being massive, guys. Best radio show on the net." Now that means a lot coming from him. That's very nice you, of Mark. Mark. And of course, Mark is the lead singer of Massive Ego. I mean, we don't want to pass that over, but Mark, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we also got monthly, or I'm sorry, one-time donations from Aaron Wallach. He actually sent two over. Aaron, Aaron said, take my money, please. I've been listening to you guys for almost a decade. In Paradise, that was one of your best sets ever. Thank you. Wow. Cool. After 12 years, I finally made my best set. I'm happy. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> And then, uh, no, it's thank you, Aaron, truthfully. I'm glad you enjoyed the set. That's important to me. And then Aaron also said, oh, and I'm still waiting for that favorite voice episode. Well, you know what, Aaron, we'll, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can do that the next time we do an extra show. 
We'll just sure. all pick our favorite voices. Gold can pick his, Mouse can pick hers, and I'll pick mine. Wow. And we'll, uh, okay. we'll put up a set. That's a good all idea. Right, let's Why do not? It. Favorite voices. I mean, maybe we all have the same favorite voices, so you may hear like three of the same bands, but we that's have all to right. figure Whatever. out who's going in which order. And yeah, we'll see. That, that'll be fun, though. I think that's a good idea. What do you think, I... Gold? You like the idea? Yeah, there's there's plenty of material to go around. All right, there you go. And you like a lot of singers, so I mean, we're we're all set. I I, I love Dirk Steyer, by the way. <laughs> Dirk. Right. I just thought I'd show that, throw that out there. All right, and then we got a, a donation from uh, William Kender, or K I'm sorry, Kenter, and he is from on um, Doylestown, uh, Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and he said thank you, not only for uh, releasing new shows in these difficult times, but for putting out bonus shows. And now that I am working from home, I can finally listen to CAD at work and catch up on all the great um, shows I miss. Thanks. So thank you, William. That's really very truthfully nice of you, and I, I appreciate that. And um, I guess you can't always listen to us from work because we do, our show's not really always the most, um, I don't know, what's the word? I'm not even, I don't know. Safe we, for we, work? We, we, yeah, I guess it's not safe for work all the time. Whatever. Did you mention uh, Jonathan Coolidge from Rockwell, oh, Texas? I missed one. Thank you, Mouse. I see I skipped one over and I, I apologize so much. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I'm sorry. And I really do. I'm sorry about that. Um, Jonathan Coolidge, if I can find it. Mouse, why don't you read it? Because I don't see it and I apologize. I might have skipped over it. Well, he made a donation, but he also made a comment, which we normally read the comments later. Okay, we'll do that later then. And yeah, he's from, uh, where is he from? Rockwell, Texas? Rockwell, Texas, yeah. Awesome. Well, there we go. That's really cool. There's a large amount of people who helped support us this week, so we thank you very, very much. It's cool. And DJ, Mr. Duran from Dark Indulgence Mix Show, and he's on Mixcloud as well and all over the place. He's on iTunes. So if you can, or Apple Podcasts or whatever they call it nowadays, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so come back for his set, and then we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Communion After Dark. Volume up. DJ Scott Duran starts now. What were the skies like when you were young? They were on on forever. When I, we lived in Arizona, and the skies always had little fluffy clouds in them. And they were long and clear. And there were lots of stars at night. When it would rain, it would all turn. It, they were beautiful, the most beautiful skies, as a matter of fact. Uh, the sunsets were purple and red and yellow and on fire. And the clouds would catch the colors everywhere. That's it, neat, because I used to look at them all the time. When I was you don't see that. You might still see it in the desert. The skies in the southwest are just
Hi, this is Xavier Morales from Born Conflict, and you're listening to Scott Duran. And now you're about to listen to a new exclusive track called Solitude from our upcoming EP, Dying Light, coming soon. Enjoy.
So this is DJ Scott Durand here with Communion After Dark, and so happy to be here this week. And uh, thanks to you guys for having me here. Um, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. I'm a big fan of the show, so I was really looking forward to uh, putting this set together and being here with y- you all. So Thank you. Um, you can check out my weekly show, of course, Dark Indulgence, and um, it comes out every Sunday. So it gives you some Sunday listening and then right into your Monday with Communion After Dark. So Perfect, um, perfect mixes. So my uh, my set we uh, just wrapped up with uh, upcoming release from Red Locust, uh, Letters from Grand Core, and that is on Whom the Gods Wish to Ruin, They First Drive Mad, and um, that will be coming out June twelfth on uh, Distorted Jim's uh, label. So uh, that's a pretty heavy track, and the the, the album's uh, pretty diverse, but most of most of it's uh, really dark electro and heavy as you would expect so they did a really good job on that album um, that feels that fe- features the uh, other part of the band is uh lee from who used to be an aslan faction correct yes yeah all right cool um right before that i did um probably one of my favorite releases recently uh blue ant we kill the sun the dead code remix and that was from the we kill the sun ep and that um, he, I noticed that the, I do see some shows playing them. I don't know if you if y'all have played him yet, but um, no. that uh, that that EP is really good. It's pretty diverse. It's five or six songs. Uh, really, really uh, cool. He, and he just released another um, another EP yesterday with like one or two songs on it. So he's uh, rolling out some fresh music right now. But that that tracks one of one of my favorites. Probably one of my favorite songs in the last month that's come out. Uh, awesome. Right before that, I did Stahlschlag, Salix, S-A-L-I-X, the Spheric remix, and um, wow, I get to, I, and I finally get to be an actual like part of Communion after dark here because <laughs> I have no, I, yeah, I have no idea how to say that the album title. We can all maybe think, is it like Freeze It, Freeze It, Larm? I don't know. Freezeit. No. Freezeit Larm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Freezeit, Freezeit Larm. <laughs> Lom, Larm, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, knows? check our play. Check our playlist on comingafterdark.com. You can see that for sure. But it's coming out on Crunchpot. It uh, that comes out in two days on uh, the twentieth, so that'll be out this week. It's a awesome. version. It, it's uh, the album 2.0, so it's all remixes of the first album, and it's got a uh, Zotox remix on it. It's got quite a few things. It's got some really cool remixes on it. Uh, cool. Right, right before that, we did um, um, a good friend of all of ours. Uh, Xavier Morales, Ruined Conflict, a uh, song that he wrote uh, during this uh, COVID scenario, uh, Solitude. And beautiful song. It's on his upcoming Dying Light EP. Uh, it doesn't have a date on it yet, but it'll be an upcoming release on Infected. So it's uh, he's wrapping, cool. the album up, wrapping up the album now. He just finished up some artwork last night. So that al- that EP will be out uh, here soon. And it's going to be really interesting to see what, uh, what Xavier comes up with uh, during this isolation period. Awesome. And um, right before that, we did Electrovot from uh, Mexico. And they did a remix of Winter Day. And it features Chris Reynolds from Red Flag, who is, uh, I, I was a huge fan of my early days DJ, and I loved Russian radio. So I was so happy to get a promo copy of this when it, when it, when it first uh, released a couple weeks ago. Uh, and they, that Winter Day track is great, and ElectroVot's remix of it. We, we really did a good job at, at uh, remixing it. It's a, so it's when actually, does that come out? Uh, it's out now on No Devotion Records. Oh. Uh, so okay. it, it, it did release, and it's got a, a number of Red Flag uh, remixes. So ElectroVot cool. uh, teamed up with uh, Chris and did that. So it's got about six songs on it. It's a, it's a short EP some, with some uh, really good remixes. So right before that, we did uh, Pragma. Amna and that uh, so cool clock DVA remix um, and it's from the EP called uh, Gate that's been out for a little while it's been a been a track track that I enjoy and every now and then I revisit it and it's a good good set opener uh, and I'm a big clock DVA fan so it's nice to see those guys it, it's so cool in our scene that we have so many of these these guys that have been around you know 30 35 years still out there pushing out good music relevant music and uh, and still actively in, involved in the scene I, I think we just we're lucky because we're. Well, I think we're part of the coolest music scene that exists. I agree. I've always I've always felt that way as well. 
I agree with you. That's awesome, Scott. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for uh, playing that set. It's a good set. Good, good exclusive stuff too, which I like. Gold. Thank you. Thank you. It's pretty nice, right? That was, um, Go ahead. That's brand new, brand new Clock DBA remix, though. Yes. Yes. So that, that that's a, that's a recent that's track. Cool. Just I came wonder, out. I wonder if they're gonna. I wonder if they're gonna put anything new. I, I got to see him at uh, WGT one year, and they put on a crazy show. Yeah, I'm glad. You know, I, I just got a promo of a new uh, Porsche control. So it's cool to see it. Uh, like it's, it's just great to see these guys rolling back out with, with, with music. Some of them that have been away for a little while. Uh, I think guy, our, the guy from Porsche Control he chewed me out for he thought I stole his sunglasses. <laughs> I was wearing <laughs> a sunglasses. Yeah, we're, 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 oh, we're all sitting. Gold. Yeah, you know we're all sitting at the we're all sitting at the uh, table at the at the at the Mortis bus stand. It's like five in the morning, and I and I, I see these sunglasses on the ground. So I pick I just picked them up and I and I put them on. And as we're talking for like an hour later, he's like. Those are my goddamn sunglasses. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, you're here. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, Scott, but that um, the Electrobot, for example, okay, so Red Flag, the original singer Red Flag passed away uh, mm-hmm. quite a while back, if I'm not mistaken. The yeah. guy who sang Russian radio. Um, but the last Red Flag album was done by the singer of Electrobot. He sang on those songs, or the album, I should say, uh, that Red Flag released under their own name. So. I guess they're just working together now. Uh, I mean, he's in Red Flag, and and Red Flag is now working with him as well. Yeah, Chris is pretty low key. You know, he doesn't have much uh, social media presence. But uh, Mario over at No Devotion has a uh, a, a very good relationship uh, with him, and was able to get him in the studio. But when the with the the loss of the brother was a very difficult thing. So uh, it was, it oh, was, was two, his brother. Okay. So it was two brothers. I didn't know that. Yeah, so, oh, Chris, I didn't know so, that. so Chris is yeah, Chris is still alive. Uh, I think it's Mark that passed away. So his two brothers, and so the brother Chris is uh, is still alive, but um, it's a difficult situation, of course. And of course. Uh, Mar- Mario convinced them to uh, to go back and uh, and put this out. So this is some it was some it's some old pieces that they had, and then built in new pieces. And I was lucky enough to be uh, part of it. I, I did the premiere of it a few weeks ago on the, of the track and. You know that's kind of a big part of my show. I, I I really try to be connected right in with the labels, and I spend uh, probably countless, just ridiculous amounts of hours. Anybody who listens to my show could probably tell that I spend like a ridiculous amount of hours digging for obscure, odd music right. that that nobody knows. And um, and really, it's for that's that's my goal. When I first started um, Dark Indulgence, you know, I had been in the clubs for years, and then when I first started doing it. I basically uh, put up a mix and I, I told a friend of mine that I, I spent 30 years working and then I went into IT and I wasn't playing music anymore in the club. So I said, well, man, it'd be so cool if I had, imagine if I could get 100 followers on Mixcloud, that'd be pretty neat. I'd, I'd probably do some shows regularly. And uh, I was with him a, a couple of weeks ago. And we we're laughing because, you know, I'm like, man, I, I get about 100 a week right now. And who would yeah. have ever, th- if, if people ask me like, what's, what's the trick? And I'm like, man, the the magic's the music. There's no trick to it. Like there's just uh, hard work every single week putting out shows, just like you y'all do. Uh, so many people uh, that are out there digging, looking for new music, and sharing music, and turning people on. And and um, I think that what Commune After Dark does, and what I do, basically my motivation constantly is to overturn the people that are standing around saying no good music comes out. What happened to all oh, the yeah, good well, music? Uh, those people just aren't listening to music. That's all right. it comes down to. So I think, because, um, I, mean, I, I mean, yeah, so what so I, clubs I, in the eighties too. So, I mean, I know that I, I understand where those people are coming from sometimes, but I mean, there's, they're just not listening to new music. That's all. It comes oh, down to. Yeah, no doubt. Get yeah. Lost. Like they hear yeah, the bands that were around 30 uh, years the nostalgia. ago. So I, the I think, nostalgia. I think these shows like we do are just, uh, I, you know, I, it's, it's, it's always, I'm just like y'all. I love reading the comments. I, when I when I see people that that I, when I turn somebody on to somebody that they haven't heard of before, that that's that's what it's all about, and that, that's that's what I, that's why I put the work in, because um, yeah. you know pretty much I, I make it like a mixtape for myself every week, and I'm just so happy that I get to share it with people, and other people uh, just happen to enjoy the same same music that yeah. I'm liking. No, you do a good job, man. You do a really good job of your show, and I think we're I think we're all like yeah you I mean you know we're we're where we all I mean work in the same area so that's really cool i like that and um before we go to uh gold set um and we 
we, we have a special announcement you wanted to give, so go ahead. I mean, I know you have something you want to talk about. Oh, sure. Yep. Oh, can't forget. Uh, so just yesterday was uh, Jim's birthday from Red Locust. So uh, Jim Simonic, you know, he does so much work, so much. He gives so much to the scene. Uh, he, he really gives all with his Electronic Saviors project. And uh, his birthday was yesterday. So uh, big shout out to him. We uh, wrapped up the happy set. Happy birthday. With Red happy Locust. Birthday, and, uh, happy birthday, Jim. Jim. Happy birthday, Jim. Cole, did you, say, did you say it? I couldn't hear yeah. you. I know you probably said it. We said it in farts. Yeah, I no, think no, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, go, no, I, I got yeah. taken away. Gold blew really, him a kiss. He blew him a kiss. We hear you, Joe. We hear you, Gold. We hear you now. I couldn't hear you first because you were kind of talking. Does Does Megan want to say happy birthday to Jim? Yeah, you want to say happy birthday to Jim? No, she doesn't. Come on, Megan. <laughs> Leave her alone. She's probably in the kitchen trying to cook. And I saw he just okay. announced today that he has he, ha, he has Thank just a, you. he has just a few <laughs> copies left of Electronic Saviors too. So um, yeah, I think I think he said within the next five or six days he'll be sold out. So I ordered my pop- copy for that. Have you guys ordered yours yet? I have mine. Get your copies. Oh yeah, I knew you did, Megan. I have. Oh, yeah. I should. <laughs> so, I knew yeah, this and, year's and, Electronic and, Saviors. Yes, it's almost gone. Almost yeah. gone. I got the Prime Edition. Yeah, I did too. I did too. I got the same thing as you, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's beautiful but, um, too. It looks so good when you see the pictures. Wow, you did a great job on it. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, you know, it's really an awesome. That's an awesome project, just simply because I mean, all the proceeds go to cancer research. So that's really, really cool of him. I know he's a survivor of cancer as well, so that's I'm you know, beyond right awesome. <laughs> yes, get yeah. it before they're all gone. Good, do it. Yes. Good, good compliment. In fact, he probably puts the, those have been the best ones I think that have come out in years because of the way he puts them all together and the packaging and everything and how many songs are on there too. It's just crazy. He puts in so much work, and I saw that um, some bands were not submitting their write-ups, and so he was having to make them up. I'm looking forward uh, to reading those. Yeah, yeah. He warned yeah. him. He he said he, he said he, he said be careful. He, you probably won't like my write-ups. And oh, yeah. you know, I I can attest to the work he puts in because you know I did the um, best of volumes one through five mega mix for Jim. So I actually went through while he was working on his set list for six. I was working on that best of show for one through five, and I actually went through and listened to every single song on Holy all the CDs. Cow. So wow. when I went through the songs, he, he, he told me that he had been going through apparently like three or four times what I went through. And I spent probably a week and a half just buried listening to those songs. So he had That's spent, amazing. He, he was just like in hibernation for two weeks listening <laughs> to music. So That's pretty awesome. Very awesome. All right. Well, Scott, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it, man. And we're, I mean, you're still going to be with us, but we appreciate your set. And um, I guess Gold's going to go next to finish off the show. Gold, do you have your song you're starting off with or are we just yeah. going to come back for some music? Well, uh, was it a Black Nail Cabaret? Okay, come back. Bye. This is After Dark Radio and you are listening to DJ Gold.
much connection to time Pulls back to reality It's the age of Ritalin With high expectations We are gladly drowning in Too much information
lapping at their saucer of milk. But once their claws get long enough, they draw blood. Sometimes from the hand that feeds them. For those of us climbing to the top of the food chain, there can be no mercy. There is but one way. Hunt or be hunted. communion after dark i'm dj tom and you just heard chain reactor with a song called prey from their latest release called interlinked on pro pro noise and prior to that we heard brand new jihad with a song called the patron god of embalmers from their newest release called retrospect and that's out on Bandcamp. before that we heard 10 cent toys and they are also based out of florida one of the many bands from here with the song hate you and that was the imperative reaction remix on twist of fate that's pretty neat haven't even heard from imperative reaction in a while yeah and he has band camp and he has brand new music coming out you know he just finished his album i can't wait i am dying for that the man man system yeah yeah that's right that's on Bandcamp for purchase and um, Ten Cent Toys. Yes, right. They started in Florida. The lead singer did move though quite a while back um, to, I believe, Washington D.C. or somewhere in that area. Um, but the uh, the other band member is still from Florida as well. So, all right, uh, Gold. Or you want to go ahead and read your okay. next one, Gold? Well, the next prior to that, we heard a band called Avoid a Void, and the song was called Until, and that's a new single out uh, on Echo Zone. Yeah, what's that? Uh, okay, so new single by them. Cool. That band's been around for quite a while, yep. so it's pretty cool. Yeah. They're back. 
And then before that, Gold played, oh man, Gold, your favorite, Rumble Snuff. Yep. With their brand new song, Intercosmos. And that is off the Intercosmos EP, which on, you can get on Out of Line Records. On green vinyl only. Is that the one with the really weird music video? Well, they're all weird. <laughs> they're all, they're they're all like green right? aliens. <laughs> yeah, they have, yeah, they have Mr. Spock ears in the video. <laughs> oh my. That's too much. All right, well, what would you start off with gold? Uh, I think this was my pick of the month, I think. It's called Black Nail Cabaret. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was... No, was it wasn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, my pick was Jihad. That was my pick of the month. It was, yeah. It's, yeah, but, okay, that's Black Nail Cabaret with a song called Spheres. And that's from their latest album called God's Verging on Sanity out on Dependent Records. And no, your, your, your pick of the month was not Jihad either. Really? Your pick oh. of the month was Street Cleaner or Street Oh, Fever. oh Street Fever. Right. Street Fever. Street okay. Fever. Street Fever. Whatever the band's called. Yeah. So is that, there you the, go. Isn't that street, swamp, that's like Swamp Fever. Obviously, you liked all those releases, though. The Black Nail Cabaret is really good. Yeah. Oh, really that, good. That, that Black Nail Cabaret album, you know, like, I'm a... I'm just not really like a low BPM listening music person, not, and I yeah. always listen to electronic dance music. And but that album, it blew me away. That the the entire album is so yeah. good. They're very talented, very talented band, very good band. I her, agree. And her vocals are just tremendous on that album. Yeah, so good. Yep. I agree. So that's pretty cool. All right, thanks, Gold. And we'll go to your last song here soon, I guess. We got a song come up in Mouse and Read Comments, and then we'll go to your last song. And um, we got to say goodbye to Mr. Durand here soon, too. But Mouse and Read Comments first. Yeah, all right. So comments. We have uh, one from Jonathan Coolidge, who we mentioned earlier. He said, thank you for keeping the candle lit. You have helped me on the long two to four hour drives from my home near Dallas to work in rural hospital emergency departments at places close to Waco and Tyler, Texas, and northward into Oklahoma. I appreciate you for all these years, and doubly so that you're staying on the air during these crazy times. Wow. All right, Jack Cage says, I needed this episode. A few days ago, in here in DFW, the beloved club called the Lizard Lounge has decided to close down for good due to the COVID-19 situation. Thursdays and Sunday nights was called the church, which was the goth night. To a lot of us, it was a second home and got to see many bands perform here like God Module, Pig, Voltaire, and many more bands. A lot of people made so many memories. Some even met their lifetime soulmate, even married at the Lizard Lounge, including myself. I met my lady at the club and we've been together for over three years. I'm sure there are listeners from DFW that are fans of your show that would agree with me when I say this, but I really hope the situation doesn't affect the crowbar for you guys. Thank you for the hard work and thanks for reading my post. Wow, that's so awesome. that's uh, that Lizard Lounge was based in. Um, it's a Deep Ellum. I already freaking forgot. <laughs> it's in uh, Deep just... El- Deep Ellum in Dallas, and yeah, you know, like Dallas, Joe's. Thank you. Joe, yeah, yeah, Joe's Dallas. been there. I think Joe's just finished up like twenty-five or twenty-eight years there in the booth. Yeah, if you if you don't live in Dallas, uh, you don't know what DFW is. Right? Do you know what DFW is, Mark? What? You mean there's the shoe store? <laughs> yeah, so oh, yeah. oh no, it's DSW. Oh sorry, no. No, I I don't know. I just know DSW. That's the only one I know. But that's really cool. Yeah, he's and that's talking sad. About that. I mean it's yeah, that's sad. I mean it's it's yeah, it sucks. That sucks. I agree. Here, here's a here's a bit of good news for him though. So what got announced the next day, Don announced the next day that he bought another club called uh, there was a, a club down the road called It'll Do. A little bit smaller venue. But uh, he is going going to continue the church there on Sundays, so cool. the, that night will continue. But it's going to be a, just at a different location, but with the original owner. So at, le- at least uh, Dallas Fort Worth will still have that. I, I I told Gold this that, but I think we talked about this, me and Gold. But the uh, you know the the castle is one of the few clubs that has gone on for whatever it's gone on for, and and it's as big as it is because many of these clubs are not nearly as big as as the castle. Castle's huge. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, well, obviously you live here, but I mean, there's no clubs. It, goth industrial clubs are if very few, if any. They're even remotely collected. That's why, like, whoever, whenever people come to the castle, they flip out because of how big that place is. I mean, and it's been running for whatever the fuck it's been running since 1995. I mean, so, you know. 
Yeah, okay. well, Don, Don, Don opened uh, Lizard Lounge in like 91. Uh, he originally yeah. had a location in Houston. He had Austin and he had Dallas. And uh, what's carried him, though, is that he did, uh, you know, he's basically maintained a techno club on Friday, Saturday nights. So that's their oh, okay. staple. But uh, it's, it's a large venue and a beautiful balcony. It's a very nice venue. Uh, but the, the other look, the other club is is an excellent building. So um, I'm glad that he, I'm glad that he's going to continue the tradition at, at the new venue. Good, good. Maybe, maybe they can maybe bring over all those chandeliers and stuff like that. It'll make it look really cool inside. Nice. All right. Um, I got more comments. I don't know what was going. On. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. So Biblio dude says, "Okay, gold about Elvis's favorite sandwich, which is a fried peanut butter and banana sandwich." Graceland's food and beverage director is my source for this. Bread peanut butter on both sides of two pieces of white bread and place a chopped banana in the middle. Oh, that's it, a banana with it, yeah. Proceed to grill the sandwich in a frying pan with bacon grease and grill until both sides are golden brown. Okay, so, that actually yeah, sounds he, good. He didn't have a heart attack. Biblio dude researched it. Yeah, okay. he researched the whole thing. Why am oh, I not surprised? That's awesome. Uh, oh, there's okay. some... There's some evidence that Joe Smith, wife of Elvis's cousin Billy Smith, who lived on the grounds at Graceland with Elvis, used to make these for Elvis by mashing the bananas and frying the entire sandwich in butter, not bacon grease. Thus, from my research, there's really only two documented ways the king enjoyed his sandwich. <laughs> so he's calling you out, Mark, because you were like, oh, they used to gut a whole loaf of bread. and That wasn't me. That was oh. gold. I didn't see crap about it. Oh, I thought that That's was what... you. That's right. No, I thought. Gold. That's right. No, that's what I thought. I thought they they they'd gut it and then pour the stuff inside and then deep fry it. Yeah. Oh no, I I no. The only uh, thing I, I know about Elvis is they were a uh, sequence like white outfit. Other than that, I don't know much. And and he <laughs> died on the shitter. I don't know that either. Yeah. I I'm in not, the bathroom. I'm not that. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Silva Light says, Mouse mentioned the new background music. I dig it. When I heard it last week, it took me a few seconds to place it, but I love that album too. I'm sure you've listened to all of War Mech as well. So yeah, we love Air Mech and War Mech, the uh, Frontline Assembly experimental instrumental albums for video games. So uh, they're good. Good stuff. That's what's playing in the background. Good job, uh, Mouse. Ego says got to agree deadlight the host is absolutely stunning what a great show again this week many thanks for the remix spin of ours so he's talking about that um secret band that andreas played yes good stuff good stuff and uh and last comment several rant says really digging the new zoom format hope this is a trend you guys keep moving forward the guest DJs are very welcome addition. That said, most of the time I'm catching the show on Mixcloud and can't see you and miss some of the conversation. And Gold, what's with the veggies, man? Want to see your ugly mug? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best comment. Civil this rant. A feather boa. Civil rant. I like that. I like the comment. Uh, very Why awesome. Why am I so glitchy? Awesome. Itchy? Um, I don't know. Good question. Why are you so Good bitchy, question. you said? <laughs> Why am I so we, we, we are so We are so not a PC show. Have you figured that one out yet? Scott? Scott's probably like, what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> oh, no. 30? I knew, I, knew, I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> he listens to our show. He knows what's up. Yeah. But we love everybody. That's that's for sure. There's no there's no such thing as us not loving people. We love everybody, and our listeners, because our listeners truly are the best. We appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, everybody, no matter who it is. We love them all. Better. At least at least I do. <laughs> Gold's laughing, so I don't know. Maybe not gold. No, gold loves everybody too. Maybe yeah. not everybody. <laughs> gold, you love everybody. <laughs> Yeah, everybody but Mark Roberts. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, no, I no, oh. no, no, I love, I love Mark Roberts. He's cool. I, I gotta bring that up. Now that you brought up Mark Roberts, I want to wish him a happy oh, right. birthday. Happy birthday, Thank Mark, you, Mark Roberts. Happy yeah. birthday. Love I was, you. I was so glad to see him put up that new show this week. It's been a while. It's over, yeah. overdue. 
Yeah, that was nice. Mark, Mark, Mark does that show. Um, I always get confused, but I think it's called Fire and Water, if I'm not mistaken. And um, that's on Mixed Cloud. It's just on Mixed Cloud. It's called Fire and Water. And he does, uh, he did five shows this week, which was a lot of Jamal of shows. Oh my gosh. But he did them all. All those were his favorites of, like, I guess, his favorite songs. I mean, he did it for his birthday. And um, yeah, no, it's really cool. So check it out. Yeah, check out his Mixed Cloud show, definitely. Check out Dark Indulgence, which is, uh, I'm sure most of you know Scott's um, Mixed Cloud that he has every single week. And then um, you're on, what else are you on, Scott? I know you're on Apple Podcast. Yeah, and- I'm on, and then I, I upload on uh, Hear This as well. I really like Hear This. It's 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 an excellent platform. And then uh, my show, of course, my you know, my Mixed Cloud link is always, um, it's always available on djscottduran.com. So on my actual homepage, if somebody doesn't have a Mixed Cloud account, they can go there and listen anytime. So. Cool. Yeah, so you're on a large amount of stuff. Um, you know, you can um, check our show out this week. Of course, the Zoom, which we're doing right now, the uh, the actual video is only going to be on YouTube. So if you want to see us, you have to watch, listen to us on YouTube. Um, if you do not want to listen to us on YouTube, then um, you can listen to us wherever. Mixcloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, so on. So that's... Uh, that's go ahead. We get on Cam- Should we get on Cameo? But you know, but well, and if you and if you don't watch the video, you don't get to see uh, Tom's feathers. That's, that's right. right. So yeah, we, that, that fancy boa. Yeah, that's should, right. Should For we sure. start being? Should we start being a cameo? People can uh, pay to talk to us. Oh, sure. I Maybe guess. We sure. a cameo. Why not? Yeah, I don't think anybody cares about that. But we're we're not that we'll, popular. We'll, we'll, we'll pay them to talk. <laughs> we'll pay we'll pay them to talk to us. <laughs> People will be like, why? So, um, but hey, thanks, Scott, again for coming on. And uh, yeah, go for you have, yeah, man, for sure, we Thank appreciate you. it, truthfully. And um, Gold, are you finishing off with something? Would you want to tell us what it is before we leave? And yeah, we're gonna finish off with uh, some Apocalypse uh, Berserk. When they have a new remix album out called Disarmed, which is B-sides and rarities, two volumes of it, and then there's a third one coming out on vinyl only. And this is uh, an unreleased version of Kathy's song. I think it's the one. See if I can read it. The liter- it? literature, literature, Jose. Jose, literature, Jose. Version. <laughs> All right, good. There you go. So, Wait Kathy's to- song, which was an amazing song just by itself. Um, all right, so I guess that's it. Um, I guess we'll see you next week for another episode of. How the world turns, or whatever that show is called. <laughs> As the sands pass through the hourglass. Oh, days of our lives, that's what it was. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I thought we were right, so cool. a little more like General Hospital. Well, we may be. We're probably close to General Hospital. Yeah. All right, closer, I should say. All right, well, I guess we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>